I'm going to talk about a command that kind of flew under the radar during the January 2021 update, and that is the untrim command. You can think of this as a healing tool for surfaces. For users that work frequently with important models, I think this can be a good complement to the existing patch and extend commands. Before the update, we can use the patch command to heal internal openings. The command creates new bodies and can be tricky to use when it comes to more complex faces. It is not able to patch broken surfaces with open boundaries. Let's take a look at the extend command. It does work pretty well for internal openings and does not create extra bodies. It is able to heal broken surfaces with open boundaries. This works best when the edge alignment option is set to align edges. On a side note, when dealing with solids, we are able to select the faces of holes and press delete. Unfortunately, the delete command does not work on surfaces that way. The new untrim command has kind of combined both the abilities of the patch and extend commands. As with the extend and patch commands, we need to activate the surface tab. Go to modify, untrim. We are prompted to select a face. So let's select the existing face. By default, the type is set as all ages, so the command will attempt to heal both the internal and external imperfections. If we change to internal, it would only heal the two openings. If we choose external, it heals only the external brick. We can also set to manual to select the ages we want. Remove any existing selections and select the edges individually. I'm going to select each edge individually and remove them so that you can see what happens in the preview. Let's set the type back to all edges. Besides healing, there is also an option to extend beyond the existing boundaries of the original surface. We also have the option to keep a copy of the original surface. Let's take a look at a more practical example. The aim here is to replace a planar face in red with a face in blue at a slight offset. Let's first create a copy of the face in blue. Activate the Surface tab. Go to Create, Offset. I'm going to set the offset distance at 0 to create a copy. The reason why I am not creating an offset distance here is that the offset command actually changes the curvature of the surface. So we are going to use the move copy command instead to move this new surface body. Let's hide the body. Go to modify, move copy. For move object, select bodies and select the surface body. Set the move type to translate and adjust the move distance. At this point, if we use the replace face command, it will fail. We need to make this surface whole. Go to modify, untrim. Select the surface. You can see that the command has intelligently patched the surface up following its curvature. Activate the Solid tab. Go to Modify, Replace Face. For Source Faces, select the top planar face. For Target Faces, select the new surface. 